Man in Vegveen is a song in praise of the island and it runs through all the things which are nice about the island from its seas full of fish to Chicken Rock which is one of the most amazing places you could ever go to and it also goes to its pubs and it talks about kissing the girls so it covers most things. Looking at the tune uh, there's quite a bit to think about here. The first thing you need to do is make sure you can play a G chord without using your first finger. Don't play it like that, play it like that. Because you're going to need to keep that third finger sitting on string 6 fret 3, the note of G, while you're playing a tune on top. So just make sure you've got this kind of thing going on. Keep that third finger there and try this little exercise where you're playing a D, string 2 fret 3, and string 6 at the same time, and then come down to string 2 fret 1, and then an open string like this. That's a good preparation. You also need to be able to get quite busy with your right hand fingers. Looking at just bar two, you've got to play quite a lot of notes with your right hand. It's a, what we call a thumb rock finger pick, and it goes like this. So you're going to go. using your thumb and fingers working together. So I would spend a bit of time just practicing that little bit. Moving on from there, you've got on the second line, quite a stretchy thing. You've got, this is bar six I'm talking about. You've got this same finger pick going on. But you've also got to bring in your fourth finger, and that is quite a stretch, to string four fret four. So before you try bar six, I would suggest you just hold that third finger down again on string six, fret three, and just go like this. And again. So you're bringing that fourth finger down on string four, fret four, while you're holding your third finger on string six, fret three. And you will find that a bit of a pain at first. So practice that before you tackle bar six. It doesn't get any easier, I'm afraid, in bar seven. For this one, you've got to hold down string 6 fret 2, which is an F sharp, string 3 fret 2, which is an A, hold them both down together, and then you've also got to play some notes on top of that. So try doing just that. Hold down those two notes I've just mentioned, and then put your fourth finger down on a D string 2 fret 3, a C string 2 fret 1, and then an open string like this. So get used to that before you tackle the piece. And that actually covers all the areas of difficulty you're likely to come across, because when you get to the second half of the tune, it's exactly the same again. So now we're going to try running through pretty slow, about half speed if I can keep it steady. <laughs> 